Okay, JB, looks like we have another Skylark project, but it's a little different. What Can you explain what's going on here? Well, we've been asked to build a, uh, a parade boot, uh, the generic term for a cover that goes over the convertible top once it's it's uh, down. And uh, historically, convertibles have always had that problem. They There's very little time or, or uh, interest in a lot of cases in covering up the convertible top once it's down. And you have this big mechanical ugly thing that's laying in a, in a in, in this in a convertible well and no real way to hide it. Now, in the past, they would build vinyl covers that would stretch over and snap on front and rear so that you could kind of hide it, but it was really hokey looking. Um, to do a, a, a really formal job, uh, I believe uh, Cadillac was the first one to say, look, this is just unfinished looking. Let's, let's create a parade boot. Um, Ford has done it before. I don't think Buick has. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. And so we're picking up on a Cadillac idea for a Buick. Now, all my Buick friends are going to be uh, screaming out of the room in horror, but that's just the way it is. Right. We found a uh, some good photography of the parade boot that was built, I'm pretty sure, by Cadillac um, to cover up the top well and, and make it look finished. These cars... Um, are only as good as the one thing you don't finish. And your eye is automatically drawn to the the unresolved things of the car if you're not careful. Mm -hmm. So having a goofy uh, vinyl snap on top on an otherwise beautiful car, it, it needs a better cover. And that's what we're creating for uh, the De Harris cars. We're creating a, a, a parade boot that goes over the convertible top and mm -hmm. allows the body lines to flow right up to the back seat. So given you've got this project and it's very creative, you've got to make something that doesn't exist. Right. Um, how do you go about that efficiently and making that happen practically? Well, the first thing we did was study the masters and we got good photography uh, from Chuck of a number of different views of the top boot because seeing it in elevation doesn't really tell you much. You have to kind of see it from a, a bird's eye view. You have to see it from the front looking back okay. in order to get an, a sense of how it looks. You can get really creative with this stuff or you can just take uh, the cues from the master who was doing it back in the day and say, I'm gonna, I'll, that, that's the right look. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what he did. Okay. And that's sometimes the difference between good design and bad design. Mm -hmm. It's just look at, see what works and stop worrying about whether you authored it or he authored it or Chip Foose authored it or Cadillac. It doesn't make any difference who came up with the idea. Okay, so what matters so is the idea. Okay, so what's Oscar actually doing right there? So Oscar has actually started out with, he's taping uh, w the car with, with uh, the back of the car that's in the adjacent area with mm -hmm. packing tape, the clear packing tape, because our stuff will stay put on the packing tape without affecting the paint on the car. Okay. We have, we have a painted car, so we can't just go back and repaint the car as, mm -hmm. a, as a product of this. We want to protect that paint job. So... We put the, the, the clear masking tape over the entire car in the immediate area. Mm -hmm. Then we uh, sculpt polyurethane foam okay. and, and form it into shapes that can give us the, the, the shapes that we're trying to create. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to bring all that together by fiberglassing over it to, okay. to hold it together as a, as a unit. And then we'll use uh, filler primer to do the fine tuning on the finish. Yep. And then we'll block sand it and paint it and then we'll make a mold off of it. Now the master is as of no longer of any use to us. We can make all the, the male parts that we want. The, the master being a male, the, the, the mold being a female. So okay. now we're gonna make a part, we're gonna take that part off of the, the mold, the new mold, put it on the car and make sure it fits properly. Okay. If we have some problems with it, then we can ad address it at a time. At this point, we're just gotta get one good one out the door. Okay. And then that'll go to the to the body shop. The body shop will cut it in three pieces later, hopefully. Mm -hmm. But right now we want to get it all in one piece, get it mounted to the car so it can get to the show and paint it the color of the car. So that now later, that same top will come back and we'll probably cut it in three pieces or they can cut it in three pieces so that it's, it can be stored in the trunk when it's not used. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Well, this yep. is a really interesting, unusual project. Yeah, we're but, really uh, hopeful we can get this thing done in time. Can't wait to see that. Yep, it should be really beautiful.
Okay, here we are following up from, it's changed a bit. JV, what's, uh, what's, where are we at in the process? Okay, we've now mocked up the basic shape of the cover. Uh, there's two kinds of covers. One is it sets level with the body. That would be the case in a Cadillac, but that's built into the body in the case of the Eldorado. In this case, we don't have that, so we have to go over it. Uh, but we want to try and keep the streamline uh, appearance of it that the Eldorado has. Is this like a normal paint that's on it right now, or what are we looking this at? Is, this is a filler primer that we, we put over the, because it's, it's viscous. And, it, and if we had to sand it, the first layer was, was sprayed and sanded. And then the second layer, you just spray it. And if you got the good finish, we got a pretty, pretty good finish here. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, if we're not absolutely perfect, it can be addressed on the part, but we really don't want to do it that way. Okay. Uh, that's the, that's the, the bad way out. And so what we've done is we've got a, a very nice finish on it. We'll make the mold off of this. We'll spray black gel coat on it. We'll let that dry and then we'll lay up fiberglass behind it. And then another layer of fiberglass. And then we'll pop this off. This will be thrown away. And then a, a part will be generated from the mold. So you got male, female, and then back to male again. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we'll final fit that to the car, trim it, and send it off to the paint shop. Okay, and so the trimming, I see it's got a kind of a big, long, raggedy edge right now. And that, right. I guess that's by design right now? Exactly. Those things could be addressed by the paint shop. Uh, we're not going to be painting it. Uh, it's going to have to be final fitted to that car. And you got to remember these are handmade cars. Right. Uh, right. And so this Skylark, it, it, it's very uh, fortunate we have Skylarks here, but but they're all different. And every single one of them was, was cut by hand. Uh, a little bit difference between all of them that I've seen a million variations. Hmm. So this thing will have to be final fitted to that particular car because that car is not like this car exactly. So when that's accomplished, then they can final fit it, they can do their finish work, and then they can paint it the body color probably uh, so that it flows with the rest of the body. Okay, what's the timeline for this kind of a project? Well, this car is due to be at a major show, and um, so it's got to be done. And so we're pushing to give the other shop a reasonable amount of time to accomplish the rest of the missions to get it ready for the show. And there's still a considerable amount of work that has to be done to make the mounts for it. Uh, when we're all done, then it'll be cut into three pieces, and those will be made such that they can be rejoined and put in the trunk so that they can be taken with the car when, it, when it's traveling. Interesting. All right. Well, great. Thanks. We're going to keep an eye on this yeah. and try to track it yeah. along. It's really coming along beautifully. Wonderful. Thanks, JD.